Hey, how you doing? This is Thomas Berry. And I just wanted to come to you again and share some key things um, about business that I, that I believe that uh, we all can we all can learn from. It doesn't matter that if you're in a, your own business or if you're in corporate America. Um, one of the things as well is that you have to have some targets. You have to have what they what targets are are goals. Um, why are you? What do you? Where do you want to get to? You know, if you if you if you're working in a corporate company and you're at a certain position. Where do you want to be in 90 days? Because it's just like if you're in your own business, if you're in your own home business at home or um, a commercial business, where do you want your business to be in 90 days? Because with goals, a lot of our business, especially if you're in your own home-based business, your own business, a lot of that works on 90-day increments. People build their business on 90-day increments. But you break that down with, from goals from day to day, week to week, month to month, then obviously 90 days. But right off the top, right off the top team, establish some targets. If you're watching this video, as soon as this is done, take out a pad and a paper, a pad, a pad and a pen, I'm sorry, and write down some goals. Write down where do I want to be at the end of tonight? Because every goal just don't have long-term thinking. Because so many people will say, hey, I'm in this business for the long haul. But when you say that, you don't do nothing today. So don't say it the long haul. You got to do, you got to set a goal that allows you to move, that force you to move today. Don't, tomorrow's tomorrow. Next week is next week. Next week. What are we going to do today to get us closer to that goal in 90 days? Okay? So have a goal. Have a goal that forces you to move today, okay? And then tomorrow when you wake up, have a goal that forces you to move tomorrow. Then that, that should all add up to your week goal, okay? Because you have, you have, you have 90-day goals that's broken down by 30-day goals, that's broken down by four one-week goals, that's broken down by 31-day goals. Okay, so you have to have a daily goal, a daily game plan, and a daily agenda for your business. So many people wake up and say, hey, I'm in business, man. I'm excited. We go to the meet and get all pumped up, take all the pictures like we're, we're at a show, and, and go home, and all the excitement is gone because you're by yourself. But you got to write them goals down. You got to write those goals down. How many people do I need to contact? How many people do I need to follow up with? How many people am I three win? How many people am I getting on this next conference call? How many people am I getting to this next event? How many people am I getting to this next national event? All the things that I just shared with you are you have to have agendas for. You can't just have the attitude that I'm going to be there. I'm excited. I'm going to be there. This is the greatest thing. I'm there. No. You have to have goals. Every business owner. Every true champion has a desired target of where they want to be every single day. So don't let days go by where you don't have, you don't have a goal and you're not shooting for something. You have to shoot for something. Because if you're not shooting for something, if you're not moving, if you're not moving, how can you help the people that you're trying to recruit or you're trying to attract? You're just going to lead them to a dead end. Because they think you have goals. They think you have desires. So you have to show them. You have to show you that you have goals. That you're just not in this for a hobby. You got to show you, and it has to be inside of here, that it means something for you to not reach your goal. It means something to you to reach your goal. But when that gets in here, I can definitely tell you your business is on fire. But if it doesn't mean anything, if you can write down a goal on a piece of paper and not hit it and sleep well at night, you're not in the right place. You're not in the right person. You haven't arrived yet. But when you write down a goal and you don't meet it, you toss and turn all night or you won't go to bed until you reach it. That's the entrepreneur mindset. That's the winning mindset is that it's going to happen because I say it's going to happen. I'm going to make it happen. And all business owners, you don't reach every goal. That's human nature. But you got to expect to win. You got to expect to hit that goal. 
And that's a big thing, team. That's a big thing. Write your goals down. A goal is not a goal unless it's put in ink on paper. If it's just here, that goal is a wish. It's a dream. You don't believe it. But when you write it down, when you write it down and you can see it every day, today I must do such and such. Today, at the end of the day, I, this will happen. That's a goal. I mean, you have activities, but the goal can be, hey, I'm going to move my business volume. I'm going to move my personal business volume by 200 points or whatever it may be, whatever the language may be. I'm going to move my group volume by 2,000 points or by 1,000 points. And we're going to break down shortly in another couple of videos, not only how to grow your personal volume, but how to grow your team volume so it'll continue to grow every week of every month of every year for the rest of your life in business. So with that, I thank you for joining in. But to get further updates, to stay in the loop with all the new training that's coming out, please visit at winwithbigtime.com and get all the coaching needs that you need. I look forward to seeing you at the next level.